from the Supreme Court to the State House, the debate over gay marriage continues to challenge lawmakers and gay rights advocates. Leading the push for same-sex marriage in New Jersey has been Garden State Equality. Its new executive director, Troy Stevenson, joins me now to talk about this and other issues. Thanks for joining us, Troy. Thanks, Desiree. All right, so the Supreme Court heard, or heard uh, oral arguments last week. There seems to be growing public support for gay marriage. Are you optimistic or not? Very optimistic. I think um, in the two cases, I think the DOMA case, I think it will be overturned. I think there's a lot of consensus around that. Uh, we are also optimistic in the Prop 8 case. There's a lot of different ways it could go. But we um, issued an amicus brief as did the president's administration saying that uh, states like New Jersey that do have some sort of recognition should be um, given full marriage equality. And so there's, there's the potential that that could happen through through the Prop 8, or through the, uh, Prop 8 case. Okay. And what about here in New Jersey? Certainly there's been efforts by the Democrats to push right. for gay marriage. Um, I believe uh, Senate President Stephen Sweeney wants to try to override Governor Christie's veto. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We passed uh, marriage equality through both houses of the New Jersey legislature last year. We're working hard to um, override the governor's veto as quickly as possible. We've gotten a lot more legislators that have come on board. Uh, I think they'll be talking about that a lot more in the weeks and months to come. So we're very optimistic that that can happen this year. Mm -hmm. Also, the ACLU is pushing this issue? Absolutely. We've joined forces with the ACLU. Uh, they're great allies on this, and we're, we're excited to work with them. Let's talk about sexual conversion therapy. First, explain what it is, because there's a bill before the legislature. Um, they call it conversion therapy or reparative therapy or, or even homosexual cure therapy, which is offensive on many levels. But what it is, it's, it's an effort to change one's sexual orientation. It's an effort to change something immutable about a person, the way they're born, and turn them into somebody that somebody else, whether it's a doctor or their parents, want them to be. It's abusive. It's horrible. The, the young people that have su survived this, uh, they're, they're eight times more likely to commit suicide, six times more likely to suffer from extreme depression. I mean, it's just a horrible practice, and we hope to end it as quickly as possible. Here in is it rampant? It's... Unfortunately, we don't know exactly how rampant it is. It's an underground practice. Uh, a lot of doctors don't talk about what they're doing, but we do know it is happening. We know it happens way too often, and we know the damage that, that comes out of it. What do you expect the outcome of this bill? For, I, I know uh, Senator Barbara Bruno, a uh, Democratic gubernatorial candidate, she was talking about it on, on MSNBC today. Uh, Governor Christie has expressed some concerns about it. Uh, what do you think it will happen? Um, Governor Christie has said he doesn't believe in this practice. Uh, he's yet to commit one way or the other to how he will vote on the bill or whether or not he'll sign the bill. We, we believe he will. We hope he will. We believe it'll pass both houses of the legislature. It just went through the Senate uh, Health Committee with a seven to one vote, which was very, very good news. Uh, we believe it's on track and, and it won't be long. Okay. Garden State Equality has also uh, led the effort when it, when it comes to anti-bullying. Absolutely. Yes, New Jersey has the strongest laws in the nation. Tell the me about that. The strongest anti-bullying law in the country. Uh, in. 2011, we led the effort to pass this law. It uh, is helping thousands of kids every day throughout the, the state. Uh, it needs to be better funded. It, mm -hmm. A lot of things need to happen, but it is the best law. It's a law that we need to protect and make sure that these kids continue to have the protections offered by okay. it. And, and is it making a difference? It absolutely is. It's making a difference to thousands of students every day. Mm -hmm. Troy, we thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much.